keep thinking we is the gayest people. Yeah. And then I have to look at this. Girl. Like, it don't get no gay out in these ball scenes. It just don't. Oh. Yes, Miss Dramatics. Okay, one, we practicing for the ball, but what else are we practicing for just to have like a big dance crew? I guess so. Wait, well, it's gonna be Jay set or hip hop? It's gonna be, it gonna be a mix. It's, it's gonna be both. Yeah. Well, you gotta teach us some ballet I'm too. Finna say, we gonna I'm finna add all that and get my girl. Get, get your your, your, sure your, your woo. Be up there. <laughs> 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 <Turn that off. laughs> First time, you're just rocking. That's all it is. You rocking with your hands. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, well, that, uh, oh, okay, so you just go bam, 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 mm -hmm. you swirl. Yeah. We finally had met. I was, uh, I was very inspired by how gay she was, mm -hmm. and how she could be so openly with her gayness. I thought that was very wonderful. Okay, see, around that time, skinny jeans had just really came out, and that whole... And that was her sway. The whole 80s thing was coming back she in. She had a little scarf and <laughs> I'm gonna say, tight shirt. But by that time, I got to the point where I was like, I just don't give a fuck about straight people no more. I just got irritated by them comments, and I just didn't give a fuck no more. So if I felt like I wanted to wear jeans tighter than life itself, then... I'm gonna wear. We started dancing to music, and ever since that day that she had showed up in St. Louis Park with Marshawn, and we just been two peas in a pod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mom, which is the owner. It's her son, which is Ducky. It's me, my brother Jody, my other brother Adrian, and my actual mother Carolyn. It's six of us in total in a one bedroom, six of us. The only thing really in this house is wherever you have space at, sleep at it. We have no clothes, no shoes, no nothing. We just starting back up. We basically it's been like two years two for my son to get a job and he haven't gotten a job yet. I don't know if it's because of oh, the way he laziness or, because he... or it's because my, the way I dress, my hairstyles, I really don't know. So we've been is. actually homeless now. I've been homeless now for nine months. And we've been living with other people and that sucks. Because why the hell would you invite people in your house then turn around and say, it's too many people living in my house? Why would you do some shit like that? I ain't asked to come here. She told me to come here. Kara, I can't see you out there in the truck living. I was living out of my truck and didn't give a damn. I ain't had to take no shit from nobody. And she's she saying, shut up, and I don't want her to throw no hints to me, because then I'm going to cuss her out. I'm going to be ready to fight. And I'm going through this shit because my sons need somebody to stay, not me. I'm going through this for them. And I'm really tired of fighting. I'm really tired of going through shit. I don't really think there's really no better solution to this situation but an evacuation. That's... <laughs> Really, the only way I'm really gonna better myself in my life, really, is just the evacuation. Because the more I stay here, the more things will build up. We actually went through a lot of different type of housing problems since I was very young. So, I mean, housing now, if I became homeless, I'm very much so very used to it now than ever I was back then. Italian. Okay. And Mike is English and we moved to the States like three years ago. For the summer, um, Alex had a conference in London. So Alex and Melissa went over, met Alex's mum. Then Melissa went to Rome for how, how many days, mate? 40. 40 days in Rome. And now, are you brilliant at Italian? Yeah. I think, especially as a queer and trans identified person, 
family of choice has been essential to me because at times when my family of origin was not there because they were dealing with their own fears around the stuff, my family of choice were the people who were there and do really help me in terms of my finding the strength to live in a society that doesn't always accept you or understands you. And so to be able to um, be that for somebody else is also really important to me. Tell the camera why you don't think I should do it, Pandora. Because his mama wants his ass to move in with her. Girl, you know what all them complications and difficulties come with that? It ain't no damn complications and difficulties if you Girl, make it. can we say cat He's fights and mouse fights? You gonna make it that way if you. Oh, why gotta make it that way? What if my brother gonna make it that way? That damn way. Black Girl, okay, I feel the like whole song is a forward. wonderful program for me, and I feel I should experience that in a well mannerable fashion. Which I am, Dude, August 21st. Crazy. Actually, <laughs> she needs a whole time. Uh -uh, so I if y'all watching mama. this, please I give her some <laughs> urgent right like, immediately. I do not want to be in a damn house. <laughs> Girl, nothing wrong with a house home now. No. You gonna come visit me? No. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a message from Jonathan asking if it's, is 6 o'clock the right or is that too late? I for picking him up. That's fine. Let me just put this in here so I can just start grabbing some stuff. Uh, yeah, that's... Come on, hon. Hi. Hi, Hi, how are you? I'm hey. fine. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. It's um, just me. Melissa's at home. Oh, okay. Mom. Huh? All right. Text me. Basically, I just would love to just get through life and just be where I don't have to worry every day I wake up. Did she get all shy? All shy. All shy. this <laughs> morning. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't work at my house, I'll be like, it. oh. Oh, Alex and Mike. Look at my... We're going to make sweet corn, potato salad, and then we got some veggie burgers and buns. And so, well, how does that sound? Well, I've never really had a veggie burger. <gasps> we were in the oh, I'm to see the seat to find out. There you go. So you're going to find okay. out. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> It's all about new experiences. Okay, all right. <laughs> Try some new things. After all these years, I finally got into the whole song. After all these years, I never really experienced how I felt until now. So to actually experience it now, yeah, it feels a lot different than how I thought it was going to feel at first. It feels very weird. I feel like I want to cry for some odd reason. Some butter for your corn and some potato sauce. So. Okay. Mm. Give it a whirl. <laughs> I'm trying a little bit. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be that bad. I think we do have mustard and we'll be able to get it. Okay, I'm mm. going to let this see. Mm. How's the burger? You good? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I'm a veggie burger. <laughs> like I said, I don't like it. I don't have to do it again. <laughs> What do you think? Not bad. See? Not bad at all. Mm. Good. I was hoping that would surprise you. <laughs> yeah, I thought we could do the back to school shopping together. So that if you need stuff, we could okay. shop for you and Melissa if you wanted. It's the twenty. Help you that way. It's the twenty second Monday, right? Mm hmm Yeah. I start school Monday. This wow. Monday? Yes. Oh my god. I know. Oh, it shocked me too. Wait, twenty second tomorrow? I thought today was Saturday. No, it's Sunday. Today is Sunday. Yesterday was the bowl on Saturday. So tomorrow, school. Let's think about the practice. <laughs> tomorrow, school. <laughs> oh my God, okay. The 
This is the Minnesota Internship Center Charter School. A lot of the students here have not felt safe in other schools, and that was part of the reason they dropped out. And so the idea was to have a place where everybody could come and bring their whole selves to school so they don't have to censor who they are. Jonathan started last fall. His family ended up not having a place to be probably the beginning of December. He just didn't come one day. They ended up losing all their stuff in that process. I did encourage him to be in the host home program, um, mostly to stabilize his living and also so that if his mom ended up losing her place again, that he would um, have a stable place that he could finish out his education. No shoes allowed and keep bedroom clean and tidy. So one, one, three, huh, around, step, huh, yeah. huh, huh, huh. Infamous Four. Infamous, Infamous, Infamous T. Infamous T. Yes! Okay. Infamous T. This is our game. So oh, don't God. try to steal it, y'all. My tea is I get myself with this shit I can't get myself out of. And that's iced lemon tea that's been frozen for the last six hours that I've been taken out to defrost. Why you gotta do shit in cold? I live. <laughs> that's my tea. That really is what it is. Well, like, he got, a, he got all these metaphors and stuff. Yeah, because that was true tea. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all no well, fake tea. behind that tea? When you become more than, than what you base yourself off as a friend, then you can't really call yourself a friend anymore. Like, I don't know. I don't just put now one of these as just regular friends. I put them more than that now. I've been actually accepted y'all as family a long time ago. Friends to me is just like a belittling word, like associates. <laughs> I'd rather just say, sister. Why I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> That's so, so, so still. Oh, okay, yes, I'm the brother. <laughs> so he the brother and I'm the... Bro. Yeah. Bro, that is the same. Sorry about that. No problem. Good. I was hoping they have. Good morning. Jonathan, the person who's running the session, is not here. Oh, and so, um, the session is canceled this morning. I'm sorry. Jonathan had agreed to facilitate a session at the conference about uh, his experience in high school and he's also on the student council and talk about a class that's specifically for GLBT kids to feel safe within the Minneapolis uh, public school system. And he was really excited about running the session and then last night um, he went out with his mom and didn't come back. He said he would come back on time but he wasn't back this morning. and. Is not here to run the session. The biggest thing that came up at the last meeting was that I never come home. And that was the craziest thing because truth be told, if I don't come home, what was the use of me getting the host home in the first place? So that was the tea. And it's just that the host home is well, and I, I haven't really been at home honestly because of the food. I, I mean, I love, you know, being there and everything, having a nice place to stay, you know, wonderful people behind me, like a new family to develop and, you know, I mean, learn stuff from and bond with each other more. But, I mean, when it comes to eating, that's a big thing to me. If I can sit up in the house all day and I don't have anything that I eat necessarily, then I won't be there. And that's how it's really been. So I haven't really, really been at home, at home, at home in like three weeks. I'm hungry. I know what you hell. <laughs> Uh, say what? Uh, I just noticed we ain't holy. Well, you did. Yeah, it, is it cold? 
Oh, it's that spicy yeah, turkey. Spicy. Hey, I know her. Hell no. Really this little so. soda, ma. I know her too. <laughs> One of the things he said is they wanted to experience a different type of um, uh, lifestyle and life choices that queer people made or families made around habits and so on. And he wanted to learn more about like food, for example, and cooking and um, and gardening and like you know. I really felt that I wanted a different experience of, of life and you know he calls us his host home parents and which I think is really sweet and at the same time is that well so what's our role you know like I was getting texts from a school teacher like oh Jonathan is not coming to school I'm like well I haven't seen him either and my anxiety is that he's getting pulled back into habits that are not sustaining of his goals and they're not really supporting him uh, in what he wants to achieve. Um, and at the same time, I don't feel like we've built enough rapport that can say, hey, what are you doing? Come on, come on, come on. Love is fun. Oh, oh, oh. I need to be a drag queen at least once. Ah, ah, come on. I should do it again. Come on, Kelly. Kelly, <laughs> talk, come on, Pam. Lord, let me got this car. <laughs> Now that his mom does have a place, that he's pretty tied to his mom, and that it's hard for him to um, pull himself away, even though I think he really does want to be independent and wants to. Um, wants to be successful in school, there's a lot of temptation there. A lot of the times he don't really come, and it's bad because he need to graduate. I can't go for tomorrow either because if he's still at your mama's house, he ain't coming. Uh. And that's sad <laughs> that every time he at y'all, every time he at y'all house, he don't come to school. No. And that's what you I was saying about. Too? That's what I was saying about the other day. This one, they in the same household. If he can get his behind enough to come to school, and he younger than him, why he can't do the same damn thing? We get that whole faggot thing a lot, and we gay this, and and why we got this on, and we got people looking in our faces, and and we got people saying this and saying little smart remarks under their breath, and you know, got people writing stuff or saying this or saying that, and it's just a whole bunch of bullshit that I really don't really deal myself with. I just walk past and don't even pay attention half of the time. I, somebody can be right in my face and saying whatever, and I look at them like they're oblivious, like they don't matter to me because they don't. Somebody can, like I said, somebody can say anything about you. You can be Beyonce and folks still talking about her. They think that bitch is, is uh, some damn Illuminati something, which she might be and she might not be. I really don't give a damn shit. She making good money. Hell, I wish I could make that money too. So I don't, I don't know. I just, I just hope one day he'll get out of it because he really needs it. Cause I don't want him to, you know, still be. In, I don't want him to be in my situation where I'm 21 trying to get my GED or high school diploma. Cause don't should nobody be in that situation. You get picked on. You get talked about. You about to fight everybody. This, that, and the third. You come to the lunchroom to get your food. Everybody, their mama got something to say. People looking at you in all different smart type of ways. People you think that was cool getting around other people saying all different types of stuff. You can't even go through the bathroom without somebody saying nothing. When lunchtime is over, somebody telling you something. In the classroom, when you try to answer a question, somebody got something to say. Everything you do in school, somebody always gonna do something. And at North High School, that was just that it, it to me that it took away all my joy I had for school. And ever since then, it just been downhill for me. So I'm basically at sophomore credits, which sucks that I've been in the 12th grade since last year. The more I go to school, the more I thought it was gonna make me happy. But the more I be in there every day, I get more and more depressed. And then there is no job, I have no money, and then well, I be eating at my mom's house because I'm missing her. That's why I be going over there, missing her and my brothers. Hello? Yeah. We in the park. 
Okay. So he was like, oh, well, I haven't texted you back all day is because, I don't know, something happened and I'm just not feeling it today. And I was like, well, the show was like a couple of days away, but he was like, well, I just don't feel like it today. And it's like, I just wasted my time working with you if you're not going to do it. And it's like, I guess he doesn't understand. I have other things to do. I don't just sit around the house like they do. Look, uh, Beth, you look, look me in my eyes. Girl, I'm coming to school tomorrow. Every day. Every night. Uh -uh. Look, what, look, job? Job searching? Every, job searching my ass. Yeah. And you need to be at school every day. You got a big ass computer over there. Did your mama got a computer? No. You got oh, but mama's mama. Shit, that's the computer, the TV, and all that by itself. You take your ass over there and actually do something. Girl, you, you sit your ass there every day. You ask I sure the hell would. A girl, I'd be good enough in that damn house every day. I just don't want to be sitting there with shit to do. Oh, my God, girl, shut up. Girl, you shut your ass up. to be at home often because that is the whole reason of this whole program really is to develop a relationship and I don't know get me back on my feet and if I'm going away from home most of the time I'm not really accomplishing any of that. So that means four, last two digits, 44. Up 11, so it's divisible by four. It's not divisible by five, because there's no five or zero. And it's divisible by six, mm -hmm. because it's eight. So 244. Do you realize how fast you figured all those out? <coughs> Just by knowing those rules. Right. OK, so now, when you're doing this, you want to find out what the prime factorization is. Times two, times two, times so two. So seven times two to the fourth power. Exactly. Figure this much. So, Jonathan, what I do want to remind you is Thursday, 2.30 is the deadline, you know. I know. OK, good. Not After too much pressure, though, right? If you don't wait till the last minute, there's not too much Well, I'm pressure. done with this. Awesome. So if I don't turn on my work, then I fail. All the work for the semester is due by 2.30 30 mm -hmm. uh, so kind of Thursday. Little. Well, I end up going to go shopping and they gave my own little counter space. So I had put whatever I need to really put up in there. You know, I got my noodles, I got my cup noodles, I got my yeah, marshmallow. Mm -hmm. so nasty. Girl, see what happened was I had ended up grabbing a cup noodles. I thought it was the packs, which pissed me off. But I mean, shit, maybe I might want to eat cup noodles. I know where, so I can have those for that. I bought me some spaghetti oils, some pop tarts. Marshmallows for. Grain bottles. Everything has been as wonderful as possible. I can honestly say that. My food situation has been pretty nice. You see, I still got, still got food in here, girl. And I just bought the Sims 3, and girl, I, my room is clean. Everything is what it needs to be. Yup, I'm not really a big, huge Christmas fan, but this year I figured, what's the use of being a Scrooge? When I've been having a way better year than I normally thought it was gonna be. Melissa and Alex gave me 
a rainbow Christmas star, which I thought was the cutest and gayest thing alive. I was very happy when I came home to find that I had this rainbow Christmas star. <laughs> I'm actually in love with my room now. I'll be here all the time, literally, all the time. I got good work to do. Lord, save me from this semester. Mm, we're not going to see Sandy for like a whole break. Take care. Bye, honey. Oh, oh, Happy try. holidays. Happy holidays. Read a book. I'll try. Remember to go to that open house. Oh, yeah, on the 28th. Yeah. Show Liz. Yep, I remember. Okay. Media Institute. Okay. Girl, nobody got nothing. My days look alone. I knew that was my mom about to text me. <laughs> hey, hun, just got an email from Sandy uh, that you completed your work, and I am so proud of you for getting full credit this term. Well done. I'm just really proud of myself, too. Really? Because I didn't really think it was going to really get done, and I kind of gave up at the last minute, so I was very glad that I have someone like Sandy as my teacher because it really helps me out when it comes to my school because there are so many times I done gave up on it. So if I wouldn't have had her, then I probably would have been, I would have officially, officially gave it up on it. Probably wouldn't even went for my GED if you really want to know true tea. <laughs> Taking, tasting meatballs. <laughs> you love the Swedish meatballs. <laughs> I'm so happy that we found something you like that we cook. It's a miracle. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how your job, girl? Well, my job been wonderful, girl. I learned how to make cappuccinos, lattes, and my favorite drink, an iced white chocolate mocha. That was good. Mm -hmm. So I started having a cigarette too. You know, I've been waiting to go to a job just to be on break. <laughs> It's just what happens when you live with people, you become more real. It's not just getting to know Jonathan and having Jonathan in our lives, but it's also having all these other young people in our lives. And you know, like we are in our 40s and we have very different lives. And so to still be in touch with like queer youth, it's just amazing. I, like, I just feel like it's such a privilege. All different types of families have all different types of ways they go by. And just getting used to all these different types of families that I've had. It's been struggles, but I mean, in the end, in the end, I do cherish all of them. <laughs>